Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's Fearsome Fire here, and I am back with another Super Mario Odyssey video, which is weird because I haven't been doing as many of these. I mean, I have, because my, my channel is Super Mario Odyssey. But, um, pretty much we're doing a Super Mario Odyssey video, and if you guys don't know, Super Mario Odyssey Master Mode comes out tomorrow. It's also the anniversary of Super Mario Odyssey's birthday. I didn't really have anything planned for the anniversary. I originally did, but I it's a project that I decided I wanted to save for later. It didn't really make as much sense to do it for the anniversary. I'm, I'll probably talk more about it in the future. But, um, also, Master Mode's coming out tomorrow. If you guys don't know, there's a ROM hack for Super Mario Odyssey, called Super Mario Odyssey Master Mode. So it's come out tomorrow. When it comes out, I'm gonna grind it really hard. Pretty much it just makes every single game and then every single moon in the game way, way, way more difficult. So I was like, I wanna focus on that for the anniversary because that seems like super amazing, super fun. I'm just gonna grind Master Mode tomorrow when it comes out. Um, hopefully it doesn't get delayed by Skellix. I haven't heard that it would be getting delayed, but maybe it will. Um, but hopefully it will come out tomorrow, and I thought it'd be cool to go back and do some of my very first challenges uh, that I ever did in Super Mario Odyssey. And the first one, if you guys don't know, was to complete New Donk City without touching the floor, the floor's lava challenge in New Donk City. And I remember doing this way back when. You can look back at the video, the commentary is horrible, the audio is horrible, it's so, so bad. But I do remember doing this, and you know, it's crazy how much I've actually improved at this game since then. But yeah, this challenge is really just to make it through New York City without touching the floor. It's really, hopefully, shouldn't be way too difficult. I want to go this way, I think. Oh, I don't know why this taxi stopped, but I'm not going to question it. Come this way. Do this. And then this last jump should be easy. I think that my, the goal was to make it onto that. I think it was to make it onto that green cra trash can back there. So, yikes. Okay, I'm pretty sure all we gotta do is just do that. Aim. Fire. And we did it. Just like that. First challenge, first try. That's actually insane because I'm looking back at that. And I remember this challenge took me like an hour and a half to do. So the fact that I was able to do it so easily there, take advantage of some new tech is really, really cool. Let's go on to the next challenge quickly, um, the Invisible Bullet Bill Chaos. Okay guys, so here we are in the dark side, and this is challenge number three. This video actually didn't get as many views compared to my other challenges at the time, so not as many people actually really saw this video, but I do remember already, just off the top of my head, that the, the audio in this video is just absolutely atrociously bad. Um, and I actually think I should be able to get this first try. Um, I remember it did take me very long when I did it way back when. Focus, fearsome, focus, focus, focus. And we should be good, I want to say. Crouch, and just like that, dude. Super easy, super fast. That was, I, that's crazy, because I remember, again, this challenge took me so long. It was so hard for me, but things have changed. What can I say? No, we're gonna rock out with the skeleton outfit. Why not? Let's do it. Okay, and now we are on to challenge number four. Number three in the video. I actually did skip my very first challenge, which was the Lake Kingdom Waterless, just because it was kind of a boring one, and I didn't have the right save file. I didn't want to play through and get and get the proper save file for it, and it wasn't really a good one anyways. It was my first challenge. Um, I'll, have the, I'll have the playlist if you guys want to watch all of these or check all of them out. Um, but this challenge right here in the Sand Kingdom is to pretty much make it from up here down there and this is like the first time i ever really implemented a cappy roll jump um and you know this is actually right like around the time we actually figured out the cappy roll jumps were a thing other uh, also known as um vaults cappy roll jumps vaults and it was like the first time people started to really take advantage of them and they were like really really cool tech because cappy roll jumps allow you to get a lot more distance and height uh, compared to everything else at the time so when we first discovered them it was super duper cool and it you know it, it created a lot of um good opportunities for the game but, I have a good feeling I'm going to be able to actually pull this off um, first try. I really don't know, but I kind of have such a better idea of how vault vaulting works and how vectoring works. So if I go at the right angle and I do some homing cap throws, I feel like I should get this first try. Um, which is crazy to think if I actually do, because I remember this took me so long. Maybe not, actually. I'm way too far away. Man, okay, maybe not, dude. Maybe not. I, I spoke too soon. What can I say? I should try to go at a different angle. So, there you go. First one that we didn't do right away. I did title the name of this video the hardest Super Mario Odyssey challenge. So, well, <laughs> it's, it's the hardest challenge, guys. What can I say? I just realized, what if I went for a, um, a, a roll cancel vector? That could actually maybe work. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this. 
Oh man. Oh man, that works so well. That's a perfect jump for a roll cancel vector, by the way. Look at that. Boom. That that's how I should have done it way back then. I don't I don't think that I think that roll cancel vectoring was discovered at the time, but I didn't know how to do it. Um I didn't have to, I didn't know how to do it for a while actually. So there we go. Roll cancel vector works way better. On to the next OG challenge. Okay guys, here we go. The moon cave backwards in Super Mario Odyssey. This video I do remember off the top of my head that um I had a bunch of like audio difficulties with this video way back when. Um so there's that, but this jump is pretty simple. Oh my, I struggle with this jump so hard. The fact I can get it so easy now is just absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, th I really don't think this is going to be a challenge at all for me, especially since I recently did that um, that task in the moon cave, and even during part of that I went through the moon cave backwards. This is going to be super easy. I'm actually surprised that, like, I don't even know, dude. It's, I mean, it's so hard to think that, like, I, that I struggle with this stuff at one point because it's just so simple now. But I mean, it just shows how much I've grown as a player, I guess. I don't know, that sounds so stupid to say for a game like Super Mario Odyssey. How much I've grown as a player. Like, it sounds so alpha and annoying. But, I mean, I guess it's true, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, and this part, how the, how, how the heck did I do this part? Oh no, look at that, we can just wait for the full film. Okay, that makes sense, that's how you do it. Gotcha, cool. And then we should be able to do this. By the way guys, if you didn't know, you can actually go faster if you don't hold the acceleration button. If you don't hold the acceleration button and you just shake, you actually go faster with a bullet bill. So, yeah, a lot of people don't know that. This is actually kind of obvious. We got this. We got this jump. This is not how I did it in that video, but I should make it. I'm dead. <laughs> Rip. Okay, never mind, dude. I'm, I'm speaking way too soon here. Look at that. Boom. Easy. Free. Oh, you know what? I actually, I, I want to try something. So I remember in this video, I kind of cheated and I grabbed the bonsai bill to get to the beginning. Um, because I couldn't find a way to do it without the bonsai bill. But I know that it is possible without the bonsai bill. And I actually did a challenge way later in my channel where I just did the ending with the bonsai bill to try to make up for the fact that I couldn't do it back then. That was a cool save. So we're going to actually just really quickly show it off. We're actually making it up there without the bonsai bill. Because it's actually really hard to do. It's, it's pretty hard to do. It's pretty weird. And I think I should really do it a lot better. Um, also, I wish you can make it down here, like this. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember this jump. This jump, oh my gosh. Actually, I can just skip that pillar and just go this way. Whoa. Look at that. Oh! Um, let's grab a tank. Boom. Easy. Okay, that's wonderful. I'm gonna use a kitchen amiibo, I don't even care. We need an amiibo for this. I got it legitimately, but then I messed up. So, and then how do you do this? You... There we go. There we go. And then from here, that's where we gotta do some tricky stuff. Do we need six hearts from here? I feel like I will. I'm gonna need more hearts. There's no way I can do this in two, so I don't know if this is cheating, I don't know. Because we're using an Apeach Amiibo on the pillar, but I think that we have to do it this way. I'm not really sure. Maybe not, actually. Probably, actually, no, I'm gonna need it. Yeah, I'm gonna need this. Okay, wait. Alright, we have one more chance right now. There we go, we did it. Boom, just like that. We made it all the way backwards. Um, which is actually something I wasn't really able to properly do in my in that one video, so we actually did something that we couldn't really do. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do... two more. So now we are on my sixth Super Mario Odyssey challenge. Yes, the sixth one, which is Twist and Turn Up Treasure. And you can see that key right there exists. You can't get it with Cappy, um, and we theorized if it was possible to get this without using Cappy. I spent hours and hours doing this just trying to pretty much just get a perfect long jump and then cap dive back towards the key and not hit it and this is super duper hard to do or it was but now there's actually even a better way to do it so uh, just to show I actually figured this out on a live stream a little bit ago just do a ground pound here and you can just do that and that should work the way I want yep just like that do a little dram strat be a little creative and we can get the moon <laughs> and that's that's a really cool way of doing it too um yeah so 
I, I prefer that method. I think it's not only is it easier, but it's way cooler, more stylish. And yeah, so that's my sixth challenge, the challenge that literally took me hours and hours to do. Not even a big deal. <laughs> okay guys, and the final one that I'm gonna do is to beat the Lunching Kingdom Koopa Free Running without jumping. This shouldn't really be a big deal at all, I don't think, especially with the shortcut. I do remember struggling with this a lot. Again, it's crazy how much things have changed, but um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do this challenge, finish it up really quickly and it's gonna be pretty dope. Also, my best time for this is a 14.13. That's insane. <laughs> like, that's like a really good time. Uh, wait a minute, maybe this is hard. Oh, okay, never mind. We actually can't do the shortcut. I don't think. Can we? I don't know, but... Yikes, okay, never mind. This is, this is harder than I think, dude. Okay, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna pull this off. Oh, it's it's over. I, it's literally over. There's no way. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fail this. Gosh dang it! I died. Can you do the shortcut? I thought you could do the shortcut. Am I stupid? Okay, that was that was an epic, fearsome fire fail. <laughs> what? Okay, wait, we're doing this again. All right, wait, wait, this is embarrassing. All right, that was that was good. I want to try this. I thought for sure you could do the shortcut, bro. It doesn't make sense if you wouldn't be able to do it. Can't do it. What? I'm so confused. How? Oh, I'm not going for wall. It's possible. Wait, is it possible? Okay, where are we starting? Where are we starting? Yeah, well, I suck. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe I didn't get better. Maybe I got worse. That would make a lot of sense, though. I mean, the content of my videos have gotten worse, so... <laughs> Calling myself out on stream. On stream? On video? I do too many streams now. I'm not used to the video life. There we go. And this is easy. And just like that, we did not jump, no incrementing the jump counter. So that's me going back and doing some of my older challenges. I understand it wasn't the craziest thing or the most exciting thing in the entire world. It wasn't really meant to be. I just wanted to give you something for the somewhat anniversary of Odyssey. And I know that I'm gonna be grinding master mode tomorrow. And that's what I wanna focus on when master mode comes out. It's just master mode and nothing else in my life. Like nothing else but master mode. So I thought, hey, let's just do something. I thought it'd be really cool to actually go back and do some of these challenges. And you know, because I, I, I don't have anything ready right now that would be more valuable. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this weird video and have a wonderful day.